Line from police work while a man facing trial for murder says the evidence against him is made up. Now attorneys for the man accused of the 2021 murder are asking a judge to throw out the evidence. Our Flynn Snyder joins us now to break down these details. Yeah, Mike Don, this is all related to the shooting death of 23 year old Charles Vincent, whose body was found on Julia Law Street in Savannah back in 2021. Marquis Parrish and three others were indicted for murdering Vincent. Now Parrish's lawyers say the information used to get search warrants in the investigation is false. And now we're learning that the lead detective in the case has been placed on administrative leave. A bombshell accusation from the lawyers of a man accused of shooting and killing Charles Vincent in 2021. Court documents filed this week are asking a judge to suppress some evidence obtained through search warrants, claiming the information police used to get them is false. According to attorneys for Marquis Parrish, who is one of the people indicted for Vincent's murder, Savannah Police Department Detective Ashley Wood was assigned to the lead role in the investigation. Court documents say Wood obtained 34 search warrants, all of which state that Parrish was with co-defendants purchasing cleaning supplies at Walmart and that Wood viewed security footage confirming that fact. But last month, when Parrish's attorneys reviewed the 67 hours of Walmart security camera video, they claim Parrish did not appear anywhere on the footage. The documents also say that earlier this month, state prosecutors viewed the Walmart security footage and agreed that Parrish was not at Walmart, as Detective Wood claimed. Court filings also say that Detective Wood provided other false information to state prosecutors that was contradicted by the events captured on her body-worn camera. Those findings led the Savannah Police Department to open an internal investigation of Detective Wood, according to Parrish's attorneys. We reached out to SPD officials who conferred to WTOC that Wood has been placed on administrative leave due to an internal affairs investigation, but they would not confirm what exactly that investigation is about. The documents from Parrish's lawyers also claim that Wood knowingly provided false information to multiple judges under oath in her search warrant affidavits. Now, I reached back out to Savannah police today who say they do not discuss ongoing investigations. According to Parrish's lawyers, he's been behind bars since May 2021. State prosecutors asked the judge to delay the case so they could test more evidence. But Parrish's lawyers say any delay for that testing is unfair because SPD has had that evidence for nearly two years, but that would fail to send it in for lab testing. The SPD internal affairs investigation is ongoing. Meanwhile, we learned today a Chatham County judge granted Parrish bond. Thanks a lot, Flynn. Keep us posted on what happens next. And you can also read the full court document on our website, WTOC.com. Just look for this story on our homepage. Well, new tonight, the insurance company for Bryan County Schools.